So let's look at multiple controller systems. Minivan systems are large enough that they require one or more controllers. A working knowledge of how to interconnect multiple controller systems will enable you to design and implement even the largest of projects. So let's go over the objectives. First, we're gonna talk about Master Bus, its purpose and the characteristics of it. And we'll also talk about the Master Bus wiring topology the bus wire length maximum, and the maximum quantity of controllers on a master bus. And then we'll get into controller addressing and terminating switch use. And then at the end, we will wrap up with going over the Ethernet control connection or C2C type of control. And this will involve Ethernet address setup and also when to use compared to the master bus. So, and then when we get to the design center portion of it, we will add additional controllers into Design Center, and we will also do some uh, C to C assigning on the controllers itself. Controller bus wire. It is the same wire as station bus, which is a 16 gauge two conductor. Um, low capacitance is not required though, so you can get use like a speaker wire or something along those lines. Um, as long as it is polarized, so you can max up the positive and the positive and the negative to the negative. So with the configuration, with the master controller bus, you can have up to 15 controllers on the station. And it is daisy chained, and the only limitation is a wire length that you have of 2,000 feet from beginning to the end. So let's also now look at the address setting for that. The address setting is done with the PIMS on the main enclosure terminal board, as you can see, are in the left-hand side. You've got your ones column and your tens for any number of controllers up to nine, you would just adjust the ones column and then 10 and above, you would adjust the 10 and the ones column like thus with the single infusion controller. Notice on the controller bus that it has a positive and negative, so you do want to use polarized wire. Notice also that there is not a specification of in and out, although recommend being consistent. So for me and my jobs, I did left in, right out, like reading a book, left to right. So as with this diagram, you would go through and you would set all of those pimps with the uh, correct address depending on which station it is in your larger project that has multiple controllers. So let's look at the termination settings now. With the vantage termination rule, if one or less cables, termination is on. Otherwise, it is off. So with that rule, as you notice, everything that has two cables into it is set to off. Everything with one or less is set to on. So with that said, if I had only a single controller system, what is the termination? Is it on or is it off? You also have the ability to have multiple controllers over Ethernet. If master bus is not available or if you uh, have longer runs that you need to make beyond the 2000 foot limitation of the master bus, then you would want to use the Ethernet bus uh, capabilities or C to C. So with this, you can have multiple controllers with the different IP addresses being given to it from the router. So you would go in under the C2C menu and enable the Ethernet or the ETH abbreviation. Uh, make the channels set depending on how many controllers you have. Um, you would want to have them all as the same channel if you're in, like, let's say, a large house that has multiple controllers but does uh, has no need to be individually addressed or if you're in a large hotel situation where you've got one network that is set up but you want to be able to separate the controllers uh, per area or floors and so forth then you would set the channels dependent on which uh, group you want it to be associated with. And so, for example, like floor one and two are channels one, and then channels 
uh, or floor four and three would be channels two and so forth. And so you could keep those completely separate from each other, even though they're all still on the same uh, router or on the same network. Peers gives you the ability to look at the hex code and see that the number of controllers is correct if you know how to work through the hex code uh, algorithm. So you can mix these two types of systems, master bus and ethernet bus. You can combine those chains of controllers connected by the controller bus to form a single system, or all of them can be the ethernet connection. Uh, you can have a total of 31 controllers on an ethernet based system. Uh, so unique and matching addresses is still a requirement, although the Ethernet connection has no bearing on the termination switch. Uh, you can do a combination of the two as long as you stay within the limits of the 15 total for the master bus and then get up to a total of 31 total uh, utilizing the rest, the next 16 with the Ethernet bus. With these systems, keep in mind that you have an SD card. It is vital that you only put one SD card into a single infusion controller. Uh, multiple memory cards can cause you problems and issues and so please if you have a larger system like this only insert one memory card. On Design Center side to set up so that I have a multiple controllers in the system I've come in over here on enclosure view on the left hand side and then I've just right clicked over on the enclosure and clicked add controller. So now I have uh, three controllers on the system. I've gone ahead and connected up to the, the main controller, which is gonna be my .40 address, and I'm gonna push a full program to that. Now let's uh, jump over to the controller and show you how to do the settings for the C2C. So on the controller, I wanna point out a couple things before we get into the menu. Uh, first off, this is my first controller and there's the controller number of one. And so the board on the back, once again, showed you earlier with the screwdriver where you adjust those pins so that it adjusts to the correct board. This is controller one and so this is displaying controller one. Notice that this is showing me how many controllers it sees on the network. So I've got three controllers set up on a uh, C to C or ethernet based controller uh, system. So this is how you set that up. You go in and you press any of the buttons just like normal to wake it up. Under the C to C, you press this and under the ETH you hit adjust and it allows you to enable that. All right, now all my channel numbers need to be on the same if I want those uh, as the same system. And so all of the uh, the other two controllers that I've done this with all have the same channel number of zero. And then very simply you hit set and it'll go through and set that and you just need to make sure that all the same firmware is updated and you should be good to go. And then notice quickly it recognizes how many controllers that it sees out there on the network.